welcome to the Muscle Car Modeler. My name is Ralph, and uh, today I'm just gonna do a little uh, uh, video for what I do when I disassemble or you know start a restoration on some of these. Um, a lot of times I get my models from various sources, just like anyone here. I pick some up on Facebook and some of the groups, and uh, a lot of them I pick up on eBay, just constantly watching built models and and rare cars, just watching for them and. And I'll bid on them, and sometimes I win, sometimes I lose. I don't really worry too much about it, because uh, even though they're rare, uh, usually another one will come all around. So, but uh, so here's here's a couple of uh, Johans that uh, I have in my collection. I know what you're thinking, another '70 Javelin, but yeah, this uh, a friend of mine here locally built this as a kid, and uh, he offered it to me, and uh, so I, I jumped on it. But uh, it's built as a dragster. And it's literally falling apart. And uh, one of the things that kind of cracked me up with it is uh, yeah, it's a funny car chassis, but you can't lift the body too far because it hits these wheelie bars back here. So um, I know it has some stands, but a lot of the chassis parts are actually broken. Um, so I haven't decided, you know, if I'm going to try and repair a lot of that or fix it. But. Uh, the body is actually in really good shape, but the emblems and marker lights have been sanded off and kind of wondering what's hiding under the brush painted sections here. But my biggest concern right now is um, if I do end up restoring this, I'm going to get the the bumpers redone. And this bumper is actually broken back here. So I'm going to try and repair that section um, or look for another bumper. But So I'm going to tear this one apart and in my spare time. Um, between some projects, I'll I'll work on that a little bit, but that's what I'm gonna do. Is I'm gonna tear this one apart, and then I also know the A pillar has been broken, and uh, it's been re-glued. So I'm not sure how that's gonna come, and if it was glued to the glass or not. So I guess we're gonna find that out today. And then the other one I got here, uh, another Johan. It's a '71 Olds Cutlass 442, and uh, this one's cleanly built. I mean, it's really cleanly built. And uh, the chassis has been cut at the sway bar and, and the cross member for the engine. Not really sure why. Um, but I'll, I'll find that out. But I'll end up replacing the chassis with another one. But uh, get this apart and, and I'll get the, the chrome redone. Which is my main reason for tearing this apart. A lot of them I'll tear apart. And then I'll get the chrome restored and I'll strip the bodies. Which this one I'll strip the body and the chassis from its paint. Although this one's painted really nice with a spray paint. Um, it's got a really dull spot here in the, in the center of the roof. But uh, uh, it's it's pretty nice. And um, I'll, I'll get it cleaned up and get it ready for restoration. So someday I like to you know, strip them down to the bare plastic and get them ready for a build. So um, first thing I do is to start tearing apart. And then I just use your exacto knives your trusty exacto knives are mainly what i start with a oh, big one and whatnot but i like i like this wedge blade right here um it works really good when it comes to to tearing some of these apart um so i'll, I'll start with the probably the easier one of the two since this one is already built and it, it's it's really not a glue bomb this one it, it's glued but it's and then I'll just, since it's a solid axle, metal axles, I'll grab it from the wheels and, and pry the chassis and the body apart. And sometimes push in the front. I don't see a radiator hose here that I need to worry about. But uh, let's, moment of sound here. Well, that seems to be glued pretty well, actually. <laughs> the center is bowing out, so I guess I am going to be prying here. So, um where to start from. Let's start at the back. Well, you heard that. Okay. Okay, so the back popped loose. Now let's try the... Okay. Alright, it looks like it's some form of epoxy. Oh, that makes that much easier. So then no wheels since they're typical of the time frame. And these these look like they're 
they're just going to pop right apart for me. I love these old tires, but a lot of times they're just not printed off center. And then for 71, I like to use a lot of the white letter tires and not white line. Um, so I, I don't know when I build this one. Since I don't have the, the 442W30 hood, uh, the rammer hood, I may just build this one as a base 442 right out right from the kit. And let's pull the axle out. Oh, phew. engine just popped right out of there. So we'll just pull these axles apart. This was kind of nice on some of these screw bottoms. They just come right apart. And then feel free to hit your engine with any of the parts you got and uh, let it go flying. That's going to need some pliers. So the engine went flying down here. So let me pick this up. Fan blade flew right off. So. Oh, that's broken. Okay. Well, that peg stayed, but well, this is this one's. Oh, okay, that's going to take some effort. Well, the chrome's coming right off. I'll take the exhaust manifolds off. I like to paint the exhaust manifolds separate. Let's see if the distributor's going to. Yeah, that broke. But the rest of that I'll strip and paint that as one piece when it comes to the engine. Well, most of that's coming apart. Um, well, interior tub's not glued in. That's just very clean. Oop, shifter's broke. Let's see if I can push it through. That's broken, but not broken. That's going to clean real nice. See how bad's the steering wheel? These scare me. Oh, wow. It's funny. There is glue there. You can see it. But the steering wheel came right out. The glue is hardened and... I think the silver paint protected it because I just pulled it right out of there. Um, that's nice. Works works out real nice for me. Um, okay, glass came right out. And let's see. That's glued in there really good. Radiator sports in there. What about those front... Looks like some of this has actually been re-glued. Yeah, this 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 bumper's been re-glued, but it's not. This is actually really nice. Doesn't even look like the grill was. No, it wasn't. Well, let's get this side. Just get it and pry it from the pins. Yeah, this grill was not glued in. I almost won't even have to repaint that or strip that. chrome is pretty nice it's got some worn spots but the chrome's going to get redone Let's see one side's done what about the other side oh here we go now that the now that the girl's out of the way <laughs> silver paint just pulled right off of there Now this is coming apart pretty easily. I don't know what they use for glue. It's gummy in spots. Now 
Yeah, let's see if I can get uh, These have pegs, so use the back half of my handle sometimes too, but that doesn't want to let go. Got a little screwdriver, so sometimes this will work too. If I can get it in there, okay. That that was able to squeeze in behind. And push the knob out so this body is ready to go into the tank and I know this paint should come off really well there's no real glue marks and I'll have to say I'm very lucky with how clean that one is as far as the body goes so we'll strip the body strip the engine strip the firewall maybe you know some of these parts and should strip all the rest of it Let's see this tail light is like the grill it does look like there was glue in here so yeah it's really not glue either well Just walking it out here. It's slowly moving. There we go. Yeah, I got the tail light out in one piece. Kind of milky. You can kind of tell that uh, Johan, they actually painted. I can strip this and it'll be clear. And then this is just red paint, red transparent paint on top of it. So I've run it out on, on a number. So those bumpers and wheels are ready to get stripped and uh, chromed, and I'll strip some of these other parts. So I think uh, that's going to conclude that one. So let's let's see what kind of shape this body's in. This is the one that scares me because just handling the funny car chassis, it's just falling apart. Um, but my main concern is this body. Oh, okay, let's, okay, see, so, you know, I like to black out the whole inside of my chassis on a lot of my builds, you see that, and this one is just all over spray, which I think is kind of interesting on this particular one, oh, look at the dust, <laughs> is it's it's all over spray on here on the inside but yet on the outside you look at it, it looks like it's all brush painted like they tried spray painting the first time and then brush painting the second time I don't know if this glass is gonna come out that looks like it's glued in there really good The good news is you see I push the windshield down, it moves away from that pillar. So it's not glued to the pillars, but it is seriously glued to the roof. So a lot of times I'll do this, wedge my blade up in there. This is why I like to use this, this type of blade. And then I'll gently push. And then we'll push on this side. Be careful how much you push though, because I have had it break and then wedge in there and break that pillar, which I'm already scared of on this one, but I got it that far. So I think I'm going to 
break it right there so I could pull the windshield out and then I can glue that back in there this back window though this sucker's glued in there good oh here we go oh okay so I got that out it's got some tire marks in here which yeah, I'll try and polish those out, see how that comes out. But the main thing, oh, this bumper's really just going to pop right out. Okay, so it's not really glued. Oh, there went that peg. So if anybody happens to have a 70 Javelin rear bumper, I'm looking for one. Yeah, both pegs just broke. Which to me, that's not a big deal. It'll glue back in place as long as I'm still using the same tail light. But I can always, if I find another rear bumper and it has the pegs, I can always drill those pegs out of these, this lens. But the main thing I got to repair is this section right up here that's broken. So, like I said, if anybody has a Javelin rear bumper, even if it's resin, I'll take one from Model Haas. They used to make them. And then let's try the front bumper. You know, this hood really isn't... It is, but it isn't. I thought the hood was glued in. It's not. Or the glue is so petrified. Because it does seem like it's got glue right there and right there. But that popped right out. So let's try and get the, the front bumper to let go. Oop, nope, that pin broke. Yeah, that one too. Yeah, so both pins broke. Not really a big deal, it's not a game, game ender because all the visible parts of the front bumper they're all good and there's no damage to any of that just where the two mounting pins are broken now I'm really hesitant about trying to get this grill out of here the insert oh that pin broke that one's yep that one's gonna break they're all gonna break this one this one's not gonna be nice to me Oh, maybe the middle one. I got it to pivot. One of my other javelins, the grill broke right in the middle. And I just glued it back together. But you just take it easy. Try and take your time. Um, sometimes they come apart. Sometimes they don't. Like this one's just fighting me. Sometimes even just scraping, getting some of the built up glue off, since I'm able to pivot it, maybe I can get it to come out. No, it doesn't want to let go. So we'll push it back in. I'm doing now is scraping the sides for any glue that's built up. Now I'm just walking it. Shove my blade in there and twist. There it goes. So I was able to get that off. And two of the pins are good. This one broke a little bit. So it's still there. There's actually enough pin there that it'll line up. So this bumper is definitely usable. 
and then I'll go dip this in the pond strip it I have to be very careful with this right here in the meantime like my other ones broke right there when I was foiling it if you saw my video on that um, or not foiling painting it when I was painting that uh, javelin body but this one I got the main part because this is the main part I wanted to get out and I'll start playing with it I think all I really need to do is get a straight section of the right thickness and cover that up that's really all I need and get some of these parts cleaned up but uh, so that's just a real brief what I do to take some of these apart and I said I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with the chassis on this one I have an unbuilt kit of this a full mint kit but I may search for a, a drag chassis or get some of the parts because uh, one of these wheels is really busted up. Um, I do have the exhaust header. It fell off. It's in my box. But uh, I'll, I'll get this one. I may restore this one as the dragster. But it's really got a mountain of dust and dirt on it. But since most of those parts really weren't chrome on the real cars. But uh, I'll see what I'm going to do with this one. But it's more right now I'm just playing with the body and showing you what I do to restore some of these. But uh, there we go, we got a couple taken apart. I'll start throwing some parts in the purple pond and see what happens there. So uh, thanks for uh, tuning in and thanks for subscribing. And, and I hope uh, this helped you, but it's really just getting over the, the fear of taking one of these apart. And some of these are more glue bombs than others. But uh, that's why I just be real open-minded and, and bid accordingly to basically what you see. I have had pictures lie to me, but uh, um, just don't be afraid to give it a try. I'm actually surprised I didn't break that pillar. I was, I was fully expecting to break that pillar. But uh, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for subscribing. And, and as always, you guys uh, uh, have a wonderful day and enjoy modeling. And I'll talk to you again. Thank you.